Boston's Roger Clemens for a lot of reasons, as you'll see. The first place Red Sox have hit their first slump of the season, but Clemens just keeps biting off win after win. If you like statistics, Clemens was the perfect choice to start tonight in Chicago. Following last night's loss to the White Sox, the big power right-hander is 10-0 when he's pitched following a team loss. 10-0 on the road, and he was firing bullets past the White Sox early tonight. Here, getting former Red Sox Steve Lyons. By the fourth, Clemens' team had staked him to a 2-0 lead when Don Baylor smacked a 1-0 pitch from new White Sox pitcher Jose Dillion and put it in the left field seats for his 19th home. For the White Sox, tied it an inning later, had a runner on, two out, when Harold Baines hit a slow roller to first baseman Bill Buckner. He went after the ball. Clemens covered the bag. The throw, there in time. It looked like thir the third out, end of inning, but no. First baseman umpire, uh, first base umpire Greg Koss ruled Clemens missed the bag. The runner scored the go-ahead run. Clemens brushed the umpire, got the underhand heave-ho, turned his hat around, threatened more to maybe rip the base up. No, don't throw the glove. He was long gone. We see it again here. Check it out. Plenty of time. Was his foot on the bag? Sure looked like it to me, and it took a couple of Boston muscle men, Baylor and Jim Rice, to cart their pitcher away. Meanwhile, Chicago had the lead and never gave it back. Tim Hewlett had four hits, including a two-run homer. Deleon had uh, a three-hitter through six.